I wanted to take this opportunity to highlight the latest advances in foot drop care. Of course, we have ankle foot orthoses and functional electronic stimulator devices um, for different types of patients. Um, in the initial stage of treatment, we always have to consider three things, footwear, flooring, and an AFO. So foot orthoses, three Fs. It's really important to remind patients to make sure that they don't have any predisposing causes within their footwear, um, for example, protruding lips or crack lips um, at the front, which might um, enhance their risk of falling over, tripping over things, flooring to be aware of anything which is an uneven surface. If there are any um, rugs, uh, for example, on the floor, those can be a falls risks. And a foot orthosis to help keep the foot up um, and well dorsiflexed. In terms of what's available at the moment, there are some really incredible advances in terms of materials and design. The thing that really blew me away personally was the TurboMed FS3000, which you can see. Um, this is an external device to the shoe and avoids the issues of having anything underneath the sole to keep the ankle up and this is particularly important for patients who have got a neuropathy, for example, who may not feel um, if a sole has become cracked, um, underneath the hard soles become cracked, and that can cause uh, skin trauma. And in addition to which, um, there's always a risk of pressure ulceration as well. So these are particularly good to have an external device to keep the ankle lifted up, and it's uh, design also allows for extra bounce to be returned to the patient to return some of the energy of the walk as well. So it's a really, really lovely device, it's really well engineered. Um, from what I've been told, it has to be designed for the patient, uh, but has a turnaround time of about five days. Um, so that's really quite an advance of the old sort of thermoplastic um, 90 degree uh, standard. A final brief observation for those who are considering the functional electronic stimulators. There's quite a range of devices out there and they really come in at quite a range of prices as well. Some of them are £700 and some of them are over £3,000. Quite why that should be is beyond me, um, but one should have a really good understanding before one makes uh, a purchasing decision as to uh, what exactly the device offers and um, quite how cost effective it is. So they're all really glorified TENS machines with some form of motion sensor, some of which are wired to the actual um, stimulating box, some of which are wireless, but uh, one really needs to strongly consider uh, what the exact benefits and gains are for you know, each individual person in your own purchasing decision.